that's an interesting question. I mean, evolution, um, I, I would say modern medicine has probably affected it very little um, up till now. Um, and that's because, first of all, evolution occurs very slowly. Um, and most of the things that modern medicine have has accomplished um, really affect people's lives when they're finished reproducing, right? So, you know, most people are having kids uh, between the ages of, let's say, 20 and 40. Um, and that's a very healthy population. So most of those, most of those people um, don't really get the benefit of modern medicine. You know, you don't start taking Lipitor and aspirin and having colonoscopies and all that stuff um, until you're sort of 50. Um, and, and you're finished contributing to evolution at that point. You're finished having kids. Um, uh, so, so I don't think now. Um, the potential, though, is there. Um, because now, you know, we have tools where we can tinker around even before people are born, you know, and, and select babies who have certain genetic characteristics. Um, we can uh, diagnose things in utero and, and choose not to have those children. Um, so, but that's just beginning. Um, but I think that's where the impact uh, of modern medicine on, on evolution is, and that's a, you know, a tricky thing. Well, I just read something the other day that predicted that in a relatively short time, there's going to be 9 billion people on Earth, up from 6 billion, um, and I think that's scheduled to happen something, you know, within the next 25 years or so. So that's an enormous increase in population, and of course, most of that is going to be in poorer countries. Um, birth rates in, in countries like the United States and, and uh, other developed countries are pretty low. Um, uh, so most of that increase is, is going to be in countries where there is a lot of TB and HIV infection uh, and things like that. And, and so I think um, the population growth that's predicted, um, if health is not provided to those populations, that population growth could actually consign those countries to poverty and disease for many, many years to come. Uh, it'll just put more people into situations where less things are treatable. Um, so to me, again, that's one of the great motivations to try and increase, increase the health of the planet.